Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm Franz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up, and today I'm going to share with you how to do the press sleeve. I find that on Split Coast, my um, friend Lydia had shared that, and they got another name, and I cannot even pronounce it, so I am not even attempting it. So I'm going to call it the press sleeve, because really it's, we're going to press the leaf in the big shop. So here I finished that. I was so excited when I find that uh, I went live on Facebook, but then I decided, okay, need a video for uh, YouTube. So this year it's completely just a leaf, and I think we do have maple in um, Texas. I'm not sure. It looked like a maple leaf, and see, they are big. Well, it's hard to find small leaf in Texas. Trust me. So. Um, I try another one that I got someplace here. Um, those one I don't know which three it was neither. And this one, the leaves are not as juicy, so it didn't do as much as the imprint. So one of what we're gonna do, gonna do two cards, one the front, one the back. So when you see more of the vein, I call it, and when it's more soft. So let's get started. I like to do it on, um, and bugs, it's complementary in this, little bugs on it, it's all good. Um, what, where was I now? And I did it also on regular paper, and I like it on watercolor paper better, so it's your choice. So I find little baby one here, so I'm going to put three of them, and let me tell you, they were hard to find the little baby one. So I'm just going to put that like this, and we could almost have another piece right here. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. Here we go. And then we're going to see, I think the bigger, the better it is, I'm not sure. So I'm just going to do this like this, put one right there. So four don't go for me, so I need five. It's just me. Okay, so I get the leaves all placed here. It's going to give me a nice background, I think. Now, so I get watercolor paper in the bottom. I'm placing another watercolor paper at the top and try to match them completely equally. And I'm going to show you why. Learn from the mistake, right? Now I get just a piece of copy paper. I'm going to slide this in between. Uh, and my big shot, I got my regular plate and the adapter, a clear plate. And then I'm going to put my sandwich there, another clear plate at the top. And let's roll this through. Oops. Make sure my plate are equally there. And I came back. I don't know if you have to roll it twice. But that's what i done on the other one, so I might as well keep on that way because I know it's worked great this way. Now let's open it up and let's see the magic. Oh, how cute is that? See, you get all the imprint. And now this one, you get more of the color. So when you get more color, and you cannot do the leaf twice. I try it to do it twice. And really the first time it take all the juice out of it. See how cute that is? I could even have more for a background on this. It's way cute. And look at this. So if you want, you can always come back and add more. Let's say I said I wanted more. I can take those sleeves here. I can put one right there. And so then I would have a good background. Put this at the top. I don't know how it's going to do. Roll it twice, but we're going to see. If we don't try it, we don't know, right? And uh, many people ask me what kind of leaf work best in that. And to be honest, I don't have a clue. I don't even know the name of the trees. Um, I just know that the more juicy the uh, leaf is the better it is. People ask me if fall leaves gonna work and that I'm gonna be able to tell you when fall roll around and the color change. Uh, it's just that I know that it need to be um, 
you know, more wet the leaf. It have to have juice in it. So I'm thinking when fall come around and you get those colors on the leaf, it's more dry, but we're going to try it. Et voilà, my friend. Very, very simple. Now let me share with you the one that I did on regular cardstock. So this one here, it's on regular cardstock. It still worked great. It's just that I love the way that it looked with the texture of the watercolor. It almost looked like it's um, a material. I don't know. I just love it. So this is it. How to do the impress leaf with the Big Shop. Hope you enjoy this. If you do, thumbs up. And for all the supplies for this card here, it's going to be listed on my blog at frenchystamps.com. Right above, you get the I. Just click on that. It's going to bring you right there. Thank you and have a lovely day. Bye-bye for now.